The third and last priority I want to shed a light on is reinforcing our strategic security. We know that over-dependencies can quickly turn into vulnerabilities, and this is why stable and secure supply chains are needed to power the future of our economy. You all know the topic of critical raw materials. We know that by 2030, for example, at the end of this mandate, demand for min some minerals will rise exponentially. So we need action now and coordination at EU level to secure this access. There are two ways to do this. One way is to diversify, so to have a trading partnership with other regions of the world so that we're not depending on one simple single supplier, but we have a diversified uh, a chain of uh, supply of critical raw materials. The second is even more interesting, and that is the whole topic of the circular economy. If you recycle, you do not need to get new critical raw materials. And if you look at the latest development in the startups for recycling, it's fascinating to see how much they can take out of a product that would go to waste normally and take out, again, these critical raw materials or other valuable resources and put them into the new cycle of production again. So way forward to, uh, to follow up.